Hello everybody, my name is ASM and welcome back to Let's Play Kai's Reich and Hearts of Iron 4. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, we're with the Italian Republic. France is going to per perhaps declare war on the Germans. I'm not too sure yet. Well, they're going to demand that Alsace-Lorraine, which might kick off war. It might not. I'm not too sure. It'll mean that Germany is going to be fighting a two-front war, which will be um, good for Russia. I mean, we want Russia to do okay, just so um, Germany will be weak. I mean, they have, don't really have a lot of troops on their border right now. The French, I feel like, really could just push their way straight through Germany. Yeah, they have like 5 and 7. So if we can get France to push through Germany and march through northern um, Austria, that would be highly beneficial for us. And is what I would like to do. Yeah, you can see they're definitely putting troops on the border with Morocco. They're going to have to once again reinvade re Ireland for like the fourth time in five years. I'm not too sure. It's been a shit show. I mean, once again, we still do outnumber them on the Italian front. It's just that there are so many people that really nothing can be done because there's just so many. Like, 21 army to be units in the reserves is a ton. I don't want you to attack. Please, thank you. Like, your plains, your urbans, I mean, the territory is pretty okay, it's just that, um, there's a river. If this river wasn't here, it'd be so much easier, but because there is a river, it is a nightmare. Also, do we actually have the next level of landing crafts? Destroyers, carriers, battleships, heavy, submarines. Why does it go up to 19, like, 1900? I guess I'm... Where actually are they then? Oh, they're down here. Transports. Advanced landing craft. Okay. Probably should have researched that before we tried to do another naval invasion. I mean, is it going in our favor? Not really, but... I'm sure it could be a lot worse. I don't know if these guys are considered in the ocean or not. Like, I don't know if battleships showed up here, if they would just kill all of the transports or not. I don't know if they're considered in land or if they're, I don't know, like, I don't know if they're considered in the sea province or if they're considered in this province. Into, or maybe they're considered still in Barbie. I'm not too sure where the game considers them to be located. You know what, they might actually give them Alice Hostel Rain just because they're, they got no troops on that border. There's so, there's so many people here. So many that I can't really get anything done. That's why we had to create like a second front. It's why we either need Serbia to attack Austria or Greater Romania, Trans like conquer Transylvania. You got it. They're at war right now. I don't know if the AI considers that. Like the AI is like, oh, he's at war with the Entente or with the, um, with the Third International, which means that they are significantly outnumbered, so we should attack them, or not. Also, the Germans have landed in Finland. It's really not a great time for Russia. How close are they to actually capitulating? I don't know. Uh, current wars. Because they're also worth the... They're at 60%. Because, yeah, they're also fighting against the Japanese. I don't understand why Japan's not just, like, walking over them. Because they also have a very big army. Uh, so it is 1940. Uh, support weapons. Let's get those. Even though I said I was going to get um, another technology. I was going to upgrade the planes. Kind of forgot about that as soon as I pressed the button. Yeah, let's just combine our navies into one because we lost a decent number of ships. We lost like six ships or something like that, which is, you know, once again, quite a lot. How oh, much longer? 17 days. Let's go to speed five. Because it's not like we're actually in like active combat right now. Really, I just want to see what the Germans do about the situation. Also, I'm like constantly pausing. It's a thing that I do a lot. 89%. So you are technically winning. 
extremely, extremely slowly, but you are technically winning. Assuming, of course, that they send nobody to reinforce. They've actually just abandoned Split, I think. We are currently winning. Nine point organization. Actually, if we can get the British and the French to land troops here. Because this is a naval base. We really just need that second front open up. Because we have slightly more organization than they do. Actually, no, wait. Well, they have 79. They have a lot of organization for their infantry divisions. So now, if you could send some troops over to reinforce me, that would be great. I would like to train more planes and stuff, too, as well. Thank you very much. And, of course, we need a lot more oil because we're not getting it from Russia anymore. Can't really get it from anybody because... Like, who would we truly trade with? Paraguay, Austria, is that worth us? And a lot of people are puppet states, so we can't get it from them. So yeah, we just don't have any oil. Because I can't trade with the United States or the AUS. Because we will just lose every single one of our uh, convoys. And that doesn't sound like a great time to me. Yeah, so it looks like they are sending more troops down here. Can I send more troops south? Not really, because I don't trust the AI not to just completely abandon everything. I'm just going to defend this port until we can actually get reinforcements to arrive. Apparently it also gave us Corsica. I don't know why they would give us Corsica, because I think Corsica is a French claim. Like, they have a core over it. So I don't know why they gave it to us. And I think in like two days, maybe? Yeah, so not tomorrow, but the next day. Yeah, let's just try to push out with our Marines. You know, just dividing their forces is absolutely necessary. Because once again, they, they don't have any, like, um, forts here either. Yeah, also it's alt ultimatum. After months of low-intensity skirmishes and diplomatic game playing on the French-German border, uh, the two behemoths are poised at the edge potentially the most brutal conflict mankind's ever known since the dark days of the Walt Creek. Well, everybody's already at war. Like, basically, World War II has already begun. Like, it doesn't really matter. Seize after the War of 1871 by the Victorious Reich. Uh, the point seems unlikely that... Did they say yes? Take down Germany. Well, we're already at War of the Entente, so might as well make it a two-front war. Well, kind of. Once again, like, they're not really... They're kind of just over there. We're at war, but I don't think anything's really happening. So how many... How many what's... Can you, like, support a lot of troops? Not really. This actually can support 45. I don't know how. And are they moving... Tro They're not really moving troops out of the border, either. Prepare for liberation. They're at war with the Germans over Alsace-Lorraine. Yeah, I need that recruit population. Yeah, so Germany basically doesn't have any troops on this border. Germany right now is also just at war with the French, but I'm sure I'll be getting a call to arms soon. Because I don't see why I wouldn't. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, there we go. Now maybe we can say it's officially the Second World Krieg. I'm not really too sure. We got Nepal, Australia, Russia, and us on one side, and you got the Reichspact, the Entente, and the Anu Adrid on the other side. 5.5 to 6.5 million manpower one side. So it's about equal on manpower. And losses are also about equal. I guess Japan is also kind of on their side. But not really. Because we're not really... We're not allied with Russia. Second World Krieg. Is this now considered the Second World Krieg? Has it all been lumped into one war? Well, not really. It's like its own separate war. Yeah, the Greek Civil War is not going great for them. 
Yeah, so no, the United States is definitely going to win in the end. It was a very extremely long war. I'm surprised it's taking this long. Probably of Hawaii has been calling this the enemy. We're at war with Hawaii now. But they have significantly more troops up there. Like, again, I don't think they can actually really break through us. Morocco's been calling into the war, but I once again, I don't think Morocco can really do much. Like, they actually got a decent amount of troops over in the south. The Second World Creek. The World Creek claimed the lives of countless young men from all over the world in a conflict on an industrial scare, scale. But it appears that even a, that nightmare could not deter me its uh, lust for blood. After over 20 years of proxy warfare, diplomatic pressure, and political squabbles, the uneasy peace between Germany and France has broken down. These two great powers are now mobilizing their armies in preparation for a war the world's like never seen. We're already at war with the Entente. As far as I'm concerned, the war was already happening. Sure, Russia, we can have an aggression pact. The British have also landed and split. So they kind of did what I was wanting to do anyways. But it does mean that they also have to shift a lot of troops over to the Western Front. Dutchman left. Free cut. Like, who are we at war with right now? The answer is, like, everybody. A little bit. Really, it's an easier question to answer for, like, who aren't we at war with right now? Because, yeah, the answer is everybody on Earth. Yeah, they're all they're repositioning their armies, so we are definitely going to be in a eh, we're definitely going to be at a disadvantage on the front. But once again, I don't think they can really push through. We have like strong line of defenses, as well as uh, the river penalty. So the river penalty that we have attacking them, they're also going to have against us. Yes, yeah, so we just kind of need to push out. We need to get troops down here, but I can, really can't pull them off this front. Are these like level 10 forts? Level 3. I don't know how the French are having such a difficult time pushing through. Apparently this guy just rose up. This one, uh... It's not really... It doesn't look like he's a paratrooper either, so I'm not too sure where he actually came from. Okay, we're actually losing the battle here, but that's fine. Do they not have a commander? No, apparently not. That makes it a lot easier for me. I mean, the British were making good headway, but then they kind of threw it all away. Yeah, like, the Austrians are throwing a lot of troops over here to kind of combat against the British. You could have just landed where I was. And we could have just made, like, you know, a combined effort. But they decided to go against that. Yeah, so as soon as we're done being under attack, he'll go capture this province down here. Yeah, and they're already repositioning their armies out against our borders. They're very unhappy. You actually still consider this an inferior enemy. Well, I guess in this one province, yeah, but... Other than that, I would say definitely not. It's definitely against us. Yeah, they're attacking us as well. Multiple combats. Are we actually in- we actually are in mount, so this is actually a very defended province. I'm sorry if we actually broke through, considering the, the landing penalties and we were attacking into a mountain. Are you actually in a poor province? You are. But again, you should just land where I already have troops, AI. And also, you only said one tank division against the entirety of the Austrian army. It doesn't really seem like that's gonna benefit you too much. And we're also, once again, at war with Ireland, because, you know, why would we not be? Flanders has capitulated. If the army experience, unite Italy. It, what, is, does control just occupy, or is it have it annexed? I'm really not too sure. But the French are making good headway into Germany. Fantastic. Like, they don't have a lot of troops here. We sh They should just flood through. Are you really trying to navally invade here instead of landing where I have troops already? 
I do not understand you, game. Why would the AI do these things? It doesn't make sense. Like, you're losing convoy. Actually, that, those are my convoys being lost. But we actually take, like, the entirety of the, uh, the Italian Navy there, which is great. Or the Italian Republic Navy, I guess, because I am also Italian. And it looks like they're about to take over Wallonia. The Dutch are not involved in the war at all. Developed Spanish Federation. Germans are trying to attack over through here. I mean, they'll defend that province for a while. I don't think there's any question about that. You have a big army as well, Austria. You also have a very big army. You know what? These guys here... I'm just going to deploy them, like, right away. Even though they're green, I want them on this front line, like, now. It just seems like that makes sense. Hopefully they don't get, you know, completely smashed by uh, Austrian, uh, an Austrian Navy. That would be bad news for us. But of course, they're going to keep on pushing through uh, Germany. They are... Is this... Uh, Brussels? I'm not too sure. It's Charleroi. Okay. There we go. So we've got our troops over here onto this front line. It'd be really nice if you just, like, stopped attacking us. It's clearly not working out so well for you. Abyssinia is a clear war in Somalia. Okay. Yeah, you guys do whatever you want down there in Africa. It really doesn't affect me too much. You do you. Yeah, and also worth uh, the entirety of uh, Middle Africa. How many troops do you have? You have a decent number. And they're probably gonna, they're probably gonna take over most of Africa. But does Africa have resources in the mod? Because in the base game, Africa has like nothing in it. I mean, there's a, there's some decent rubber in the Congo. Not even that much. Like, most of this territory is actually worthless, and is not worth actually fighting over. Which is what I find very weird. Like, there's just nothing there that's worth... ...keeping troops in Africa. You might as well just let it fall. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so you guys just stand there defending. We'll get uh, our morale back up and try to at least push our way through here. Purple, your objective is going to be... Wallonia's capitulated. It's going to be, you know, take Bosnia. That's like your kind of objective at the moment is to take over Bosnia. I would also like to justify a war goal against you. Just because I could. And having Albania... Do you have any, do you have any resources that I could use? You have actually a bunch of oil. I would like a bunch of oil. I'm actually going to conquer you. I need to conquer you anyways for my overall plan of recreating the Roman Empire. Yeah, it looks like the Germans have actually started to bring a little bit of troops back home. I mean, that's not too surprising. I mean, Russia's probably going to capitulate very soon, aren't they? Uh, no, they're still at 45%. Well, Moscow's worth 50. I don't know if they have any major cities other than Moscow, though. So they might capitulate after Moscow. I'm not too sure. But I do think I'm going to be ending this video here, so thanks for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, my thumbs up. If not, enjoy, click thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.